Carl, of course, you spend a lot of time in Rome and, and also in Paris. I, I, I go between the two cities because I have a plane. So, uh, but you grew I may up be commercial, here. but I don't fly commercial. <laughs> No, but, you know, I cannot, because people bother me to a degree, you don't have an idea. Oh, really? What they want happens? selfie things. Like, but it's my fault, I'm too easy to recognize. Does it bother you, though, you, do, you don't want to be? Bother, no, but uh, yeah. there's a moment you, you, you're tired of it. Huh? Especially if you have to go to those gates, if you throw your jacket and then they take the photos and things like that. Toilet. No, 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 no. That's in my contract. So. <laughs> Can you go anywhere, Carl, do you think, without being recognized? No, I go nowhere. Nearly Do, never. But, but does that upset you that you can't go anywhere? No, I always have bodyguards and things, but it's uh, ridiculous, but, uh, you, you know, yeah. uh, you cannot have the butter and the money of the butter. Carl, can I take you back when you were growing up uh, in a town very close to Denmark, in yes. Germany, and yes. I just would like to ask you, if you don't mind, a, a little bit about your childhood. You My childhood was very simple. I only wanted one thing, to get out of there and to be grown up. I hated to be a child. Huh? That's why I could speak English, German and French when I was six. No, I had a nice childhood in a period when the world was not that great. There's nothing I can say uh, against. Huh? Huh? I'm not re still recovering from an unhappy uh, childhood. No, everything was perfect. I never played with children. I only was sketching and reading. And uh, if it was in a country I stayed quite isolated. No. I didn't even have anything to do with my sister and half-sister. I always was isolated from the rest. Huh? I was on the best of terms with, uh, with my father and even better terms with my mother, who thought it was perfect like this, as long as I was not creating trouble. Because the girls created trouble and were sent to boarding schools in the second. And from there, they were married off. <laughs> because my mother had no patience. She was right. Your mother must have been very proud of your own success. No, she doesn't, never mentioned that. Huh? And she preferred Sonia Rickel dresses to what I did because it reminded her to the 20s. Really? How did that... <laughs> no, no, no. Huh? Yeah. And she never saw a show of mine. Huh? She said, no, you know, I don't go to see uh, people who my son works for. Yeah, there's another area, you know, there's people from another area. Huh? And they let you go to Paris very young. And d did you enjoy being there by yourself? My father had offices in Paris, so the whole thing was easy, even in those years for me. And then one day in the street, I saw a huge poster for a contest uh, for, from the International Wool Fashion Office, what was a then very important Australian organization. So the, the poster was a sketch from Guriot, and the poster said, sent a sketch in of a suit, of a dress, uh, of a... Uh, of a coat, uh, something done in wool. So I made a few sketches, sent them, for, got them, and six months later I got a telegram, because in those days you got telegrams, saying <laughs> you, you won the first prize for the coat, and there were 200,000 people in the world who had done this thing. I mean, and then the, the, the coat was made by Balmain, which was a quite very successful house then, and he asked me if I didn't want to enter a studio. And what was Paris like in those days, Carl? It was a very safe place, but it was like in an old movie about Paris, you know. Huh? It still looked like in Paris from another area. Huh? No burka. I wanted to ask you about that, Carl, because um, you, the burka is, is banned, obviously, yeah. in France. There's been a lot of controversy recently about the bikini yeah. and the women on the beaches and the policemen yes, saying... Yeah. But, uh, I don't discuss the subjects, they're not mine. Huh? I don't know how they will find a solution for all that. I prefer not to think about it, but it's a very unpleasant problem. But for women to be told you can wear this, you can't wear no, that? No, I hate this attitude against women because, you know, my life and my work is dedicated to women. So uh, I think it's horrible. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.